We've heard from viewers asking us to report on Brooks' criminal record. It is something he talked openly about a few months before he was killed. Records show Brooks pleaded guilty to crimes in the past, including simple battery, false imprisonment, and cruelty to children six years ago. But we think it's important you hear from Brooks himself about how he says it impacted the rest of his life. It's a hard feeling to stomach, you know, with you going out and you're trying and by you having this so-called record, you know, it, it, it's, it's hindering us from going out in public to, you know, you know, try and provide for ourselves as far as it's getting a job and getting ourselves back on track. Taking you away from the family. You have to try and go out, you know, make means, you know, and yet, my kids, you know, I want to spend some time with my kids, but I really don't have the time, you know. I have to try and go out, you know, make money for this, make money for bills, or try and get myself back on track. That video was part of an interview done with a group called Reconnect. They were talking to Brooks about trying to rebuild a life after incarceration, talking about potential changes that might need to happen, Aisha, in the U.S. criminal justice system as a whole, and he was part of the work they were doing. And so a lot of comments that I'm seeing that video is now going viral today. It was just uploaded last night. A lot of mm -hmm. people are reposting it and saying, this gives insight directly from him as to why he probably got a little bit anxious and the shift change when they went to arrest him because of his history with the criminal justice uh, system. So very insightful perspective mm -hmm. from Rachel Brooks himself.